Hello everyone, here we go again, My Little Completionist Farm Part 8. Thanks to lots of the good tips and advice I've been getting from the comments, a few little changes are coming to this episode. The first being that I still need to plant parsnips because I believe I need three more gold quality ones for my one bundle. So thank you to whoever pointed that out, I would have completely forgotten that and that would have sucked. Also, gonna catch up on my community center donations today. As soon as I'm done watering, I'm gonna head there and give everything I can to that. That way I'm keeping a little more organized with my items and therefore paying a little more efficiently. Also, that big old diamond I found, it's gonna get sold. Someone had a very good point in saying that you find lots of diamonds later on and it's not really gonna benefit me right now just sitting in my chest anyway. It's worth 750 gold. It has also been pointed out that I can sell any surplus items I have. A good rule of thumb from what I understand is to have 5 of anything, anything extra can get sold. I've already made my first mistake, it never takes long, I just put my green beans in the bin and then the diamond behind them, so they are unrecoverable, I could use them to finish my spring crops bundle. That's okay, I just need to wait a few more days for the next ones to be ready. So I believe I'm carrying everything on me that I can donate to the community center. Before I do that, I'm going to head to the blacksmith and see about getting my axe upgraded. Once I do, I can chop hardwood and finish the construction bundle in the community center, which should give me some kind of reward. Not sure what it is, but they're all pretty helpful. Some of the things can give you items that will really advance my play. I didn't realize the first upgrade is so expensive, 2000 gold for the copper quality tool, so that's not going to happen today. But we do have a quest, so maybe I can get this done. Hello, it's Emily. I'd like to buy a gold bar from someone to craft into some fine jewelry. Thanks, 750 gold on delivery. Emily will be pleased. And thanks again to the comments. I realize that you can take any quest like that and it doesn't matter if you don't complete it. There is no punishment. There is only upside really if you do complete it. So if you ever see a quest, might as well take it. And now that I'm thinking about that, I definitely don't have a gold bar to give to Emily. There is spring crop so far. As I said, I need one more green bean. It's done in a few days. And there's the construction bundle so far. Another 10 hardwood and I get the bridge repair, which might be useful depending on what is going on over in the quarry these days. Okay, so that's everything I can donate for now. In the meantime, I'm going to quickly look at the blacksmith to see what it co would cost to buy the gold needed for 5 gold bars. Now that I think about it, I would need to buy 25 gold and that's going to be way more than the 750 gold I would be rewarded, so never mind. I think with what time I have left in the day, I'm going to try and get another 5 levels in the mines. Because clearly I'm going to need the ore sooner than later. Because I definitely want to have some sprinklers ready for the start of summers, and the more I have, the easier things will be. So the mines make sense for now. I might hit 5 levels and then fish the rest of the day away for a little money. A late start today, 3 p.m. and floor 30. Also, my least favorite floors of any of them, the dark ones. These are just really annoying and slow because it's hard to see anything even when the ladder shows up. Like right there, it can be hard to see. You can walk right past it and smash every single rock on the rest of the floor. This has been the slowest floor ever. This is the last rock, so it should have the ladder. Nope, I must have walked right past it somewhere. Oh, there it is, right there in the corner where it's so easy to see. That was easy. Okay, there's my elevator, floor 35, 8 p.m. Took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, thanks to that tricky dark level. Doesn't matter now, I'm going to quickly head to the saloon, see if anyone's there, give some gifts away, and then do some fishing. So this is the saloon on a Wednesday night, not a lot of people here. Pam is there, of course. Didn't really bring anything for her, I'll get her in a few days. I believe someone said the salmon berries are good for this guy, I believe his name is Shane. And yeah, he really does seem to like it, so that's pretty good. If I just give him a few salmon berries a week, that's really easy because he's often there. Well, there's three fish and one algae later just before 12 p.m. 12 a.m. rather. So I'm going to head back and throw my fish in the bin, call it a day. And at this point I would be happy with two, three, four fish from the lake which will be money for tomorrow. I need to remember to buy my parsnips tomorrow. I couldn't get them today because the store is closed on Wednesdays. They only take four days to grow, so I still have lots of time to get those figured out. We'll see if I made any money today. Whoops, no I won't, I forgot to pet my dog. Now we'll see what kind of money I made. Farming, leveled up, hoe proficiency, watering proficiency. And fishing has also leveled up. 
Between these two choices, I would take the Fisher perk, fish worth 25% more, and I can't remember what Trapper turns into at level 10, so I'm not sure whether or not that's a good choice. I think always crab pods don't need bait at that point, and they don't catch crap at that point, so Fisher it is. Okay, made some pretty good money. 2702 gold, lots from farming, cauliflower, always valuable, a little bit of fish, and the diamond. Same boring morning routine as always, water the 500 things I'm growing. Now this morning, while I wait for everything to open, I'm going to do a foraging route through the forest to the south. By the time I hit town, everything will be open, so I can start my axe upgrade today for real and buy some more parsnips. I should have money for both. I do need to remember to bring some copper bars with me, however. I feel like I make that mistake every second time I go to the blacksmith, I forget everything I need to bring. I'm also bringing along all my geodes. I'm going to process them before I start my upgrade to see if there's any good treasure in those guys. Okay, by the time I was done my farm foraging, it is 9 o'clock already, so off I go. First stop, blacksmith. We'll start with my first omni geode. A green thing comes out of it. So, taking a look what comes out of 10 geodes and one omni geode, a few things I can donate to the museum, and a few things I can sell because I've already donated them. I also found 10 irons that can be smelted into iron bars and then turned into sprinklers alongside the quartz bars. Sorry, copper bars. The reward for that stuff is starfruit seeds. I guess just a single one. That's actually a good thing to get though. Those are really valuable and considering I didn't have to pay for those seeds, those are going to make me a bit of money in summer. Now I need to get those parsnips out of the way. Uh, I think I'm going to buy 25 this time. All I need is three more gold quality ones. If I fertilize all those, that should be the number. And even if it's not, I still have time to grow another crop or even two of those by the start of summer. I planted those parsnips in the usual spacing of wherever I feel like. That's what they look like. The scarecrow should cover them all. They are all fertilized. In four or perhaps five days from today, they will be ready. And I think I'm going to hold on to most of these because everyone seems to like your homegrown stuff. So they are good gifts, especially for people you don't know what they like. Okay, I've started smelting some iron, so tomorrow or whenever I can throw a few sprinklers down. Maybe I'll wait till my crop clears out a little bit anyway. And I think I'm pretty much going to spend the rest of today fishing in the lake by the mountain because I don't feel like mining. Those dark levels annoy me. And before I forget, if you look at the comments from the last video of this series that I posted, someone posted a link to one of their videos they made of filling their farm with crystallariums, filling their field. That was actually a really cool idea. It's something I tried before but just found it was way too time consuming and tedious so I gave up on it. Anyways, I can't think of the name of that particular user offhand. Sorry about that, but you guys go and take a look at that. That was a really cool idea and it's a really cool result. 4 o'clock, starting to fish. I noticed too in the fish tank I still need a largemouth bass for my collection, so hopefully I catch one or two of those. 7 o'clock and I'm off to the saloon to see who's there on a Thursday. Yeah, once all my parsnips are dead, I'm just going to carry them around with me all the time for situations like this because I'm not really sure who's going to be there at the saloon. So I can pretty much give anyone a parsnip and they will at least appreciate it. Just the usuals here today. I'll give this guy another berry because he loves them so much. Pam gets nothing once again. And I believe tomorrow being Friday is when everyone else shows up. And here's Leah actually just returning to her house so she gets a salad. I just caught her in time. And I will also talk to her once or twice. Well, she's kind of boring but I am now up to two hearts with her. I believe that means I can enter her house at any one time so Two hearts means she actually really trusts me. That of course has the added benefit of I can pretty much always find her because at some point throughout the day she will be at her house. I believe someone said she hangs out inside her house till 10.30 or something in the morning so I can always run down there. It's close, give her salad and that's that. 11.40, my berry picking adventure is done for today. Time to throw my fish in the bin. It's up for the largemouth bass. He is going to the community center. Iron is going to be swapped out right there. And just like that, thanks to my first iron bar, I have my first sprinkler. Regular quality, only waters four tiles at a time. And I cannot plant it anywhere. I don't really have any open space and don't want to waste it on the edge right now. So it's going to wait. There's the earnings for the day, mostly from fishing. A little bit from mining stuff out of the geodes. 
And today seems like a great day to do some mining. I don't really have much else to do. Jody needs a cauliflower and I'm going to accept that because I believe I have a cauliflower. What I don't know is who Jody is, so that's going to be the hard part. One more iron bar ready this morning means one more sprinkler. Also going to sit in the bin for now. Now it's just a matter of watering these plants and then off to the mines. So it turns out Jody is this person. Not really sure where to find her at any given time. It is Friday, so hopefully I find her at the saloon tonight. Unless I find her randomly on my travels throughout town. Another five levels in the mines and I'll hit level 40 at which point I'll find lots of iron along with a little bit of copper so that'll work out. I can start producing sprinklers in mass pretty shortly. So here we go, floor 35 starting at 10 a.m. I've said this before in other videos but for those of you that don't know when you see a coal cart full of coal click on it and it will give you six coal. There's floor 40 at 12.50 p.m. That's not bad, made pretty good time there. And I shouldn't have opened that chest. I forgot it was a slingshot. I hate slingshots because they're pretty useless and really hard to get rid of. Anyways, it's time to start finding some iron. This is a pretty good find on my part. Lots of the coal sprites, whatever they're called. They obviously give you lots of coal and I need lots of coal for all that smelting I do. I just happened to find a new sword in one of the crates. It is called the Iron Edge. It does more damage in my forest sword. It is definitely slower. And it has three weights, so we're going to give it a try. I think that means it'll have lots of knockback. Yes, it seems to have more knockback, which can be good or bad. The problem is that it tends to knock enemies so far away that it takes a long time to hit them and therefore kill them. I'm going to stick with the force sword simply because it is faster to kill things. Here is my next elevator floor, floor 45 at 6pm. That worked out pretty good because I still have time to go to the saloon and give gifts to whoever I feel like giving gifts to at this point. I only found 13 iron, I thought I would find a lot more than that, but that's okay, that'll still get me two more bars and therefore two more sprinklers. I definitely forgot to stop at the Adventurers Guild on my way out, I was going to try and sell some stuff. Pam would like a wild horseradish. Yes, Pam will get a wild horseradish, I believe I have one in my bin. I will go and grab it real quick before going to the saloon where she lives. So if I give Pam this wild horseradish, does that count as a gift for the week? I also need to remember to give Jody a something or other, cauliflower. So if she's here, great. If not, I need to find her tomorrow. So here's Pam. Here is her horseradish. Looks like the journal updated, so that all worked out. There's a solid 150 gold just for bringing Pam some stuff. And that still doesn't count as a gift, so I can give Pam one more gift this week. I have a few days to do so, so that will happen. While I'm here, I guess I'll buy Leah some of her very expensive salad. Whoops, I did not mean to buy that much. Okay, I guess I'm well stocked on salad for Leah then. That was over 2,000 gold worth of it. Whatever, I think strawberries are ready soon, so that will hopefully make up for my little blunder there. Well, yeah, that's five weeks worth of presents for Leah, so whatever. All works out. Now all my stuff's in a bin. Might as well smelt some more iron and for the rest of my day I'm going to chop some trees. No, I'm not. I don't have my axe on me. Just a quick look around for some forgeable berries and that will conclude my day. Just trying to make use of the little time I have. I just realized it's Friday today so I missed the traveling cart. Obviously she is asleep or something. Her pig is still here wearing its hat as it always is. Anyways, that's going to conclude my day. Off to bed. Mining leveled up thanks to all those rocks I broke. And we made not very much money. 200 gold from two amethysts. So that's going to conclude this video on the 20th of spring. My strawberries are soon to be ready and someone needs to tell me where I can find Jody today to give her her cauliflower. Also, keep it up with the good comments and tips. Like I said a million times, they're helping me out. Hope you liked it. As always, thanks for watching.